Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best stick vacuums and electric brooms in the market. For this year I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability and more to see. The price and find out more information about these stick vacuums and electric brooms, you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 it's the Dyson V7 Animal Cordless Stick Vacuum Cleaner. I got my new Dyson V7 motorhead yesterday and I love it. I like that it is lightweight and powerful, unlike most cordless vacs. I have raw and found no problems maneuvering it. This one has the motor on the top of the handle which makes ease of movement. I found I had very good control of the floor brush going where I wanted it to go. Went from floor to rug with no problem. The wall mounted charging dock is convenient and takes up little space, also holds two attachments. I have mine in my laundry room. Another feature I like is, the power button is on the handle making it much easier to turn the power on and off. It has two speed, high and max suction. I did my whole house on high, 1600 square. Featuring, with wood floors and area rugs, did a fantastic job. And I have two cats. I clean every day because of the cats so I need a reliable machine. It has a very easy empty canister. With one pull of a lever, it is completely cleaned out. No need to touch dirt at all. I have a Dyson canister for almost 5 years and still love it. Besides the central vac system I had in my last house, this is the best back I ever had. I know I will feel the same about this cordless. I will be updating as time goes on. Also just a note that the packaging shows how much care the company takes to make sure you are going to be a customer for life. The level of effort they went gave to make sure you know what everything does and how it works. They know that even if anything goes wrong, you will stay with them because they are going to do everything they can to help you. And they have the best product. I can't believe that I didn't buy one of these before. I love that the vacuum is so lightweight and small in size. All I'm saying is that my floors are almost always clean because it's not such a chore to take out the old heavy vacuum anymore. Love that I can vacuum my stairs in about 2 minutes using the shorter attachment. Suction on the vacuum is great. At number 4 it's the Dyson Cyclone V10 Vacuum Cleaner. I was a little worried about buying yet another device with the proprietary battery, but I'm blown away. First, it is extremely light. With my corded Dyson it was a pain in the rear lugging that thing up and down the stairs all the time. With this one, it is so light that when I'm going downstairs to empty the bin, I'll just vacuum the heavy traffic areas on the way. No way that would have happened with my old vac, the roller animal version, has a large diameter which means no dog hair gets wrapped around the roller. The small motor brush does wrap hair, but it is really easy to clean. Just use a coin to unscrew the side cover and the brush twists out. Pair of scissors and you are done. I do wish that the bin was a little bigger, but it's really easy to dump that it's not really a big deal. The slider does a great job of pushing all the dirt and hair out. The battery is okay. It can do a floor of my house on a charge at the middle power setting with the mode motorized brush. But since I no longer have to keep moving the power cord around when vacuuming, I think it is an acceptable compromise. I was worried about having to replace the battery at some point, but since we expect to use it once a week, the 10 year battery expectation sounds plausible. The battery is up there in price, but not bad if only replacing once in 10 years. This vacuum has great suction. We mostly use it on medium and performs well. It also has a light mode and A so you want this permanently attached to the floor mode. Seriously, high mode has quite a bit of suction and it is noticeable when pushing the motorized head. The one has a ball on it where if you rotate the body left or right it will guide the head to the left or right, which is quite nice. The motor head is so small we can easily vacuum under the bed and cabinet overhangs. Dust bunnies were vanquished. Now price. Yeah, this is expensive. Expensive. I was very happy with the quality and life of my old corded Dyson so it's a little easier of a pill to swallow taking the excellent build into account. But yeah, pricey. 
At number 3 it's the Tyneco A10 Hero Vacuum Cleaner. I have been yearning for a cordless vac that was effective, lightweight and feature rich. Well, in my humble opinion, this machine meets all my requirements. I started to get interested when I saw the latest and greatest Dyson model being demonstrated at a BB&B. I got to try it, handle it, watch it work. I was mildly impressed came home and read reviews. No removable battery, no headlights, short battery time and had to wait 3 plus hours to charge. No way to keep motor engaged without keeping the trigger pressed. So I started to nose around and came upon the Tyneco A10 Hero. Looked like the, the perfect machine. Headlights, removable battery, etc. But it did not have the soft roller for wood or other smooth floors. I have wood and tile floors. I dug a little deeper and found they had a 10 mass version that had all of the features of the hero but had both the motorized brush and a motorized soft roller plus two batteries omg my dream machine i wrote to the company to find out if they were going to offer this machine anytime soon lo and behold they informed me that it would be on Amazon very soon. I ordered it the first day. I have now used it to clean my home and found it to be perfect in every way. 1. Looks beautiful. 2. Love the dual batteries. I was able to complete my whole house with the two batteries. 3. Simply love the headlights. I have pets so lots of fine hairs all over often kitty litter sprinkled here and there. I can now see it all. See video if it uploads. 4. I have mainly used the soft brush roller which seems to pick up even the finest of our Arizona duster and dirt. See photo of canister. 5. Quiet. If I would get any of my other vax out, the animals would run for cover. Not with this machine. 6. Easier to empty the dirt canister than the Dyson. 7. Love the docking station. Better than having to find the perfect place to have holes drilled in my wall. 8. Much more affordable and more features. At number 2 it's the Black Decker IQ of 525 jaw. I searched and searched for a lightweight cordless vac to meet our needs. This is it. With two toddlers in the house and way too much carpeting, we have lots of messes. We have a Dyson that is great, but I have a bad back and it is heavy. I wanted something to handle all those little messes so I could leave the big vac for weekly cleaning only. I previously tried two similar vacs that either didn't have the suction power I needed or got clogged easily. I also needed something that would work well on both Berber type carpet and tile floors. I found it with this little black and decker vac. I had done some light vacuuming right after receiving it and it seemed to get quite a bit of dirt out of the carpet. Today was the real test though. My kiddos spilled a bunch of goldfish crackers in the floor and mashed them up. My mistake for leaving them within reach while I was out of the room for a few minutes. This would have been a huge hassle to clean up with any other vac I have tried, but my new Black & Decker vac got every single bit, including a photo of the canister after I finished. This is what it picked up. On low pile carpet i usually pull out the little crevice tool to get against the walls and corners but did not have to do that i also vacuumed the whole house on the lowest power setting i love the light to be able to see the floor genius in that there is a piece you can take off over the rotating brush to clean it the hose for using with the tools is nice and long and not stiff so it's easy to maneuver with when vacuuming it is easy to steer and maneuver the vacuum washable filter is another genius part the bucket that holds all the debris is removable to take apart and Washington. There is little tiny brushes along the sides of the vacuum head to brush things away from the walls. The big test will be the longevity of this vacuum. For anyone with children or pets who are mess makers, this vac is great, lightweight and convenient but really gets the job done. At number 1 it's the Tonko A11 Hero Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. The A11 comes with two batteries but fully charged I've yet to run out of one battery on the entire place using the soft roller attachment. The LED light has really a nice feature, something not even the $600 Dyson has and it makes me want to do a quick sweep of an area more often because the lights are bright and at an angle to show you dirt across the floor. I like that the soft roller is included in the A11 while Dyson charges $90 for it. The brush head for carpet works performs equally as well as the one for hardwood floors. Really it's just appreciated that the A11 comes with all the attachments you could need and you don't have to pay extra. Thoughtful ones like the bendable crevice tool for the car or the multi-angle tube that makes the other attachments more efficient to use. Using this to dust, 
especially doing shelves quickly or around electronics and cords, keeps everything looking cleaner. The attachments with max power mode work really well for this. On both regular and max modes, the A11 is without question quieter than the Dyson V7 I was using or my sister's Dyson V8. I apparently didn't notice how loud the V7 was until I got the Tyneco for comparison. Build quality of the A11 is good. It feels sturdy but not heavy to where it's tiring to use. I don't anticipate needing customer service but my hat is off to them. They emailed me right away thanking me for my purchase and asked for any, all feedback. I read some other reviews as they cropped up. A couple comments about the small dust bin, I guess. If you're vacuuming up an entire box of cereal or you have a shaggy Saint Bernard and haven't swept in a week this might be a problem. I empty the dust bin after a couple passes through my floors and it has a ball of dust and hair flying around but there's no loss of suction. This is a really quality product even before taking the price point into account and what the alternatives are. Overall the A11 is highly recommended. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you soon as I can.